In this video, I'm going to be showing you a game which I think is absolutely amazing. And right now, what you're looking at on my uh, video, you're actually looking at the Nintendo Switch's online service because that's what I'm going to be playing this game on. I'm going to be playing this game on the Nintendo Switch's online service. And as you can see, here's the interface right here. And this game is absolutely brilliant. Quite frankly, I didn't even know this game existed until right now. It's not really a new game, of course. It's an NES game, but it's not an unknown game it's actually a game that apparently is mainstream and a lot of people like this game which i didn't even know it exists the game i'm act actually going to show you in this video is going to be uh it's fairly new to the online service so it's quite uh, i think it's at the top of the list the game is called uh Twin B, yes, there it is, Twin B. If you're unfamiliar with Twin B, really quickly, Twin B is basically a shoot 'em up. It's actually in a category called cute 'em up. That's the actual terminology for this game. So it's a spin off of a shoot 'em up game. Cute 'em up pretty much means the graphics are a little bit different than a traditional shoot 'em up. It's more, uh, uh, user friendly it's more cartoony it's just more a different vibe than a uh, shoot 'em up but it's pretty much a shoot 'em up or a cute 'em up however you want to call twin b but twin b is an absolute fantastic game and i honestly highly recommend any of you guys check out this game whether you have the nintendo switch's uh, online service or whether you have an original nes a clone system or something like that i highly recommend checking this game out and you guys know i pretty much did for a full month or so i pretty much talked about a lot of shoot shoot 'em up games on my channel and i absolutely love this game actually fun fact as of right now i would definitely say this is my favorite shoot 'em up game of all time right now for me personally i know that's not saying too much since i really don't play a lot of shoot 'em ups and i haven't really played a lot of the good ones so i'm still missing a lot of them but for me personally this is my favorite shoot 'em up and i'm actually going to talk about why this is my uh, favorite uh, shoot 'em up game i'm actually going to be playing some of it in this uh game now i haven't beat this game i think i looked up a uh I think I looked up a uh, full playthrough of this on the internet, and I think this game is only like 16 or 17 minutes long, so it's not a very long game, but this is the type of game you can just keep replaying and replaying and replaying and replaying. That's why I like shoot 'em up. Shoot 'em ups are just games you can just sit down casually, have a bunch of fun with, and then put them down. They won't really take up too much of your time. You can just play them without really too much thinking and uh, things like that. So let's go into a uh, Twin B. Here it is right here. The nice thing about Twin B is this is a two-player game. And with the Nintendo Switch's online service, you can play games two-player. So that's a plus right there. Okay, so as you can see on screen, there's a little demo actually going. I'm not actually controlling the... Uh, action on screen but pretty much you control this ship at the bottom of your screen and then you have just standard enemies you pretty much just uh, shoot at so it's not really reinventing the wheel here when it comes to shoot 'em up games it's pretty much the most generic shoot 'em up game you can ever find but the reason i love this so much over a lot of the shoot 'em up games i've been playing recently is the fact that this shoot 'em up game is one of the most easiest shoot 'em up games you will ever play in existence and that's why i love this game i really think for people who aren't used to playing shoot 'em ups or people who suck at shoot 'em ups because you guys know a lot of the times when you play a shoot 'em up game there could be a lot of things to handle like there could be a lot of things on screen it could get overwhelming chaotic too many bullets on screen but this game doesn't overwhelm you with bullet patterns doesn't overwhelm you with things on screen so it's not like a a very hard game. I would say this game is a very good game for newbies that want to play a very friendly shoot 'em up game or a cute 'em up game. So that's why I like this game because, quite frankly, I'm not all that good with shoot 'em up games and I really have a hard time of trying to dodge all the bullets on screen. And one thing I like about this game is there's not a lot of power ups either. It's just very simple. You pretty much only have one shooting option. I think you do get power ups in this game, but that's about it. And one thing that's amazing about this game out of almost all the shoot 'em up games I've played so far is the the fact that this game flat out does have an amazing soundtrack i'm going to try to play the soundtrack on video so you can hear the soundtrack i'm going to try to make sure the sound's not too high so you can hear my voice over the soundtrack but i love the soundtrack i can't stop listening to the soundtrack on this actually when i'm not playing the game i'm actually listening to the soundtrack of the game but anyway let's go ahead and jump into this game and of course it says right there konami so konami did make this game and everyone knows uh, what konami is they're a big publisher so let's go ahead and actually jump into a uh, one player game right here quite frankly i can't beat this game on video because i'm still having problems 
So you can see you have a normal attack here, and then I think you can throw bombs. I've tried throwing bombs, and the bombs were pretty much ineffective as far as I'm aware. I actually do know this game does have uh, other games in the franchise. This is not the only one. I know there's one called Poppin' Twin B, I think. Something like that on the SNES. I checked that game out, and that game looks pretty cool, but... Something with this game just really uh, speaks to me. I love the art style. I love the uh, soundtrack. I love how simple this is, and it's not overwhelming. You can see on screen right now, there's not too many bullet patterns, not too many enemies. And one thing I love about this game as well, I do have to uh, mention, later on in the game, you get these really weird and bizarre enemies that pop on screen. So it's not like you're fighting generic aliens or spaceships or aircraft. You're fighting weird things later on. Like once I saw some knives that were coming down the screen, some pots, and I also saw uh, some uh, toilet seats. Yes, toilet seats. They're actually fighting toilet seats, which I thought was funny. And as you can see on screen also, you are shooting some bells. It's cool. You can just keep shooting the bells and they'll keep, they'll keep, they'll keep pretty much popping up and down. They'll change color. You can pick them up. And I think at certain times, if you hit them long enough, that's how you actually upgrade your ship. And as you can see there, I died. I'm at least try to make it as far as possible. I think you only get, let's say, three lives, three lives per run, and then you pretty much have to start the game over. Not quite sure how how many uh, levels are in here, but I know the game's not that long. Not quite sure if you can hear the audio too. Let me go ahead and uh, turn up the audio. Uh. Okay, so I turned up the audio of the game, and let me go ahead and restart the uh, game so I can actually try to do a proper uh, gameplay of this so I don't choke in front of you guys. So on the uh, Switch, you can use the D-pad, or you can use the, uh, the stick. Right now, I'm currently using the stick. I just find the stick to be slightly better, in my opinion. So pretty much you just shoot different uh, enemies on screen and then at the end of each stage you do have a boss. And with the bosses, same thing with the actual main levels, the bosses are pretty easy. You still have to watch your stuff, but that's why I like this game so much. It's definitely the best, uh, why do I keep getting hit though, but it's definitely the best uh, shoot em up game for newbies or unexperienced players who don't want to have to worry about having a hard time with these games. And it's actually, it actually kind of sucks also that I'm having a difficult time uh, playing this game on stream or on video. So I actually was doing pretty good uh, when I was playing this for the first time. It's really not that hard. You can clearly see there's not a lot of bullets overwhelming you. And as you can see on screen as well, I did get a uh, power up. I'm shooting two bullets instead of one bullet. I'm still really not that... Not, not, I'm still really not sure how the actual, uh, upgrade system works in this game. I think it has something to do with the, something to do with the bells. As you can see, I think I got a shield. And this is my first time actually playing this game, seeing a shield for my, uh, ship. So like I said again, if you want to check this game out for yourself, you can get this on, uh, the Nintendo Switch's online service, you can get this on the NES and uh, other means like that. Highly recommend this game. Twin B, very good game from uh, Konami. I just really hope Nintendo doesn't really pull this game from the Nintendo Switch's online service. But as of right now, I looked at the list and it looks like Nintendo's not really removing any games on there. But that would just really suck if they removed Twin B, because I think Twin B is an absolute fantastic shoot 'em up game. Okay, here we go. We got the first boss of the game. But see, as you can see from, from the boss, the bosses are pretty easy. Can't speak to later bosses, because I've only made it to, let's see, World 3. And World 3 is where I pretty much choked. But if I play this hard enough, I can definitely beat this without a doubt. Okay, here's where the toilet seats start coming and the uh, knives, I think. Which, I absolutely think that's funny. Because you would think with most normal shooting games, you usually just get spaceships or aliens to shoot. But no, they're throwing out knives, throwing out toilet seats, throwing out pots and pans, uh, knives, 
forks and things. It's just really bizarre. Okay, got another shield. And yeah, this thing does play very fluid on the Switch too. It's not laggy, it's not glitchy. It pretty much plays how it did back in the day. I like the color palette of this game too. But really, the thing that sets it off for me are the easy le e the ease of this game is so easy and the fact that the music is amazing. I can literally listen to the soundtrack all day. Okay, there's some pots and pans and... Oh my god. Talking and playing also is not the easiest task. I'm actually just staying on the side, trying to avoid everything. I just wish I would have known about this game more sooner than, like, right now, just finding out, out about this game. Because everybody likes this game, apparently. But how can you blame them, though, when this game's so freaking good? I can literally just sit here for hours and play this joint. For as much slack as Konami gets for making the Metal Gear, uh, some of the recent Metal Gear games, and doing some other shady practices, I must say this game is flat out amazing. It'd actually be really cool if they made an updated uh, Twin B game, maybe remade this in HD, or maybe made a flat out new Twin B game, because I've seen the other Twin B games, and I think that overall the Twin B series is an amazing series, which I don't know why I overlooked this game at all. A lot of you guys may be sitting there right now scratching your head and saying, how did you not know about this game? This game's been around for so long, and it's pretty much mainstream. Honestly, if it wasn't for the online service messing around, I probably would have never known about Twin B. This, this game would actually make a good uh, arcade game in an arcade. It's easy to play, but so hard to master. If you're not paying attention, you can still choke. Okay, here's the second boss of the game. Oh, gotta be a little bit careful here. Not too bad. Oh, that was pretty good. You can see I haven't lost any lives this run. My run's been pretty clean so far. I think this is where I died before when I've been playing this. I haven't made it past uh, stage 3 yet. So it's still a work in progress. But I just can't get over the fact that this game's a flat out, literally an amazing game. Honestly, if you were to ask me what I'd rank this game right now on the spot, I would definitely give this a 10 out of 10. Without a question. Without a doubt. There's nothing physically wrong with this game. Okay, these patterns are hard. It's kind of like, uh, these, these crab things over here kind of play like, uh, or their, movements, their movement is kind of like centipedes. I think that's why I died of these. The one thing I was kind of disappointed about when I found out there was another Twin B on the uh, Super Nintendo, I was kind of disappointed the soundtrack didn't sound as good as this one, because I'm in love with this soundtrack. Maybe I'll be able to beat this on the actual video itself, but I just wanted to get the word out of this game, because I think more people should know about this game if you don't already know about this game. Even if you're not into shoot 'em ups I think there's something here for everyone. I don't know if that shield's saving me, or I'm just really playing good. I think I'm just really playing good at the moment. And the nice thing about playing on the Switch anyway is, you can play this in handheld mode, and on top of that, you guys know with the NES games, you get about 5 hours of gameplay on your Switch, so I can literally sit here for hours and play this. Just so good. I just love how they actually thought out of the box to make really weird enemies. They're not your typical shoot 'em up enemies. And the spaceship, I like the design of the spaceship as, as well. You guys know I like cute stuff in general. And the spaceship really looks cute. It's baby blue with like a pink center. And the bullets in this game are pink or purple. Okay. This is the best match, this is the best uh, run I've ever had in this game. I'm actually okay even even though this game only has one soundtrack, just because the soundtrack's amazing for just one soundtrack. 
for just one set, just one song. So if you guys ever see me on my Nintendo Switch, you guys know I'm gonna be playing a lot of Twin B, a lot of it. I should have subscribed to the online service a long time ago just for Twin B. Let's be honest. You can see. You can see there's no uh, health bar on the uh, bosses, but you do get feedback when you hit them. It makes like a little clinking sound. Okay, this guy has a lot of health so far. Never seen this enemy, or this boss. You should see me behind the camera right now. I'm just literally smiling with a grin on how good this game is. I'm mind blown how good this is. I also love the bell aspect of this game too, while you're just hitting a bell around. It makes a clinking sound and it's just satisfying. Still need to still need to really figure out how the uh, upgrade system works in this game. I'm pretty sure like I said it has something to do with the bells. There's no tap, there's no, uh, you can't press the button down on your controller to actually, uh, yes, you can't press the button down on your controller to actually have the, uh, the, your, your spaceship, uh, shoot bullets. You have to keep tapping it, which my hand's getting kind of tired. That's the only flaw I think I can think about this game. So maybe, back to what I was saying was, giving the game a 10 is a little bit too high of a praise, since you can't hold down the button to rapid fire. Just because your hand will get tired, so maybe a 9.9. .9. You also have bombs, I think, in this game. You see on the screen now, I'm pressing a different button. You can see it has like a hitbox with bombs, but I don't really find that too effective. So I usually don't use that, but you can see there's bombs. I don't know if they actually work or what's the point of them, but they're there. But beyond that, there's really nothing else to this game. You just shoot, and there's no... No, there's not a lot of abilities to the spaceship, it's not convoluted, it's not complicated, it's just one button, and the D-pad or the uh, stick to move, that's it. And the patterns are easy, easy. I know, for, now I know for a lot of you hardcore shoot 'em up fans, this game may not be for you, because this game is a little bit too easy, I will have to admit, but for somebody like me, it's very good. But honestly, I still think for even hardcore, uh, Oh, I got another, I got three ships, sweet. But even, I even think for hardcore uh, shoot 'em up fans that played the hardest games, I still think there's something for everyone here. This game is just an amazing game. I've never seen these three ships either. I feel really good that I'm not even taking, I haven't took a hit this whole run. This might be a deathless run, deathless run. Okay, where's the boss? Let's go. See, like, here's going back to my point. I don't know why Konami wastes their time with Metal Gear and all this other junk when they can literally just go ahead and make make another Twin B game. Here we go. Three, still a deathless run, but to be fair, this game's easy. What are these stars, or what? This is definitely NES music at its finest. I would even put this up there as high as the Mega Man series, or even the Mario games, honestly, if you ask me. That's just me personally. I think this game has an amazing soundtrack. I've already talked about this. I'm basically repeating myself. Okay, there goes my first death. Ah, oh, dang it. Now I lost my uh, power up. Ah! This stage is actually getting... You can see this stage is actually one of the harder ones. What are those? I was going to say something uh, bad, but I, I think I'm going to leave it to your imagination. I thought that was something else, but... Let's go! I 
failed. Well, that's game over on, I think, level 4 or 5. Can't remember what it said there, but yeah. That's pretty much Twin B on the NES for the Nintendo Switch online service. Or again, you can't get this the original cart on the NES. Or I'm sure there's other ways to play Twin B if you wanted to check out Twin B. But again, I just really wanted to show this game off to every single one of you out there because you may not even have heard of this game. I personally just found out about this game when I went to the Nintendo Switch's online service. It's a great game. It's very easy for newbies. The amazing soundtrack is just amazing. It's also a two-player co-op game, whether you're playing on the Switch's online service or whether you're playing with a friend locally. It's just a flat-out an amazing game. I highly recommend this game, and I'm still going to keep playing this game for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. This game is an amazing game game anyway guys this is wayne from my tech news signing out